Hello, explorers. I'm Miss Robin, and I am so excited to be here to learn with you today. Would you look at this mess? My friend Aaron had these puzzle pieces all matched together. I'm not sure what happened, but I guess I should put the pieces back together again. Hey, will you help me put it back together? You will? Great. I knew I could count on you. Let's look at these pieces. This is a very strange puzzle. I see unit fractions on some of them, regular fractions and mixed numbers on some, and area models and length models on others. It looks like we need to match the model, the fraction, and the expression together. Hmm, where do you think we should start? I agree. We should look at the fractions and try to match the models and the equations to them. Let's see, we have two and four sixths, three fourths, 75 hundredths, three and six eighths, and seven twelfths. Wow, look at these fractions. I think we should start with a fraction we know, a common fraction, like three fourths. What do you think? Oh, I'm so glad you agree. Which of these models shows three fourths? This model is showing twelfths, and this one is showing sixths. Oh look at this one. The model is showing three length models. Each one is divided into fourths, and there is one fraction colored in each model. If I count these together, I would have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. I think we found it. Now to these expressions. Does anyone see an expression that has a total of three fourths or matches the model? Hmm, I see one that has three parts, but it's adding hundredths, so I'm gonna keep looking. Oh look, here's one. Can you read this expression? Great job. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. That equals three fourths. It looks like this part of the puzzle had three fourths decomposed or broken down into its unit fraction parts. See, each of these is a unit fraction and when added together, they equal three fourths. I wonder if the other ones will be done the same way. I don't think I'm ready for a mixed number yet, so what do you say we look at 7 twelfths? It isn't a very common fraction, but I feel confident we can find its mates. Let's start with the model. Hmm, does anyone see a model that represents 7 twelfths? Yeah, I see it too. This one was tricky. The model broke down 7 twelfths into 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths but when I add them together, it's still 7 twelfths. Erin is gonna be so pleased that we put this back together for her. Now, let's find the expression that matches 7 twelfths. I see an expression with sixths, and I know twelfths and sixths are related, but this looks like it had some whole numbers in it. Oh, here's one that has twelfths for the denominator. Hmm, let's see. We have 1 twelfth plus 2 twelfths. That's three twelfths plus four twelfths. Yes, we found it. This expression shows seven twelfths. This one was decomposed differently from three fourths and only had one unit fraction in the expression. These seem to be getting trickier. We better pay very close attention as we continue. I say we match up the 75 hundredths fraction to its model and expression next. Looking at the models, can you tell which one has hundredths? Absolutely, it's the one with the red colored in. The other two are showing whole numbers and there are not nearly enough pieces. Let's count just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, it's a 10 by 10 block for a total of 100 pieces and 75 of the pieces are colored in. Now, which expression shows 75 one hundredths? I agree. This expression has 25 hundredths plus 25 hundredths plus 25 hundredths. And when that is totaled, it adds up to 75 hundredths. This expression decomposed 75 hundredths into three equal pieces and didn't use any unit fractions. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, two more to go. Now, both of these are mixed numbers, so let's try the smaller one first. Two and four sixths. I know it's smaller because both of the fractions are proper fractions and the whole number is two. The whole number two is smaller than the whole number three. Okay, which model has two wholes and four sixths? 
Here it is. This model has three fractions with two of them shaded completely, representing two holes. And then one of them only has four of the six pieces shaded. So this is definitely the model. Looking at the expressions, I'm going to try the one with the denominator of six first. Uh-oh, this fraction's numerator and denominator are the same. What does that mean, explorers? You're correct. That represents a whole. So let's see. Six sixth plus six sixth is two holes. Plus three sixth plus one sixth would be two and four sixths. Woohoo! We found the match. Even though there are only three pieces left, I need to check to make sure they match because good mathematicians always check their work. So three and six eighths. This model shows four length models divided into eighths and three of them are completely filled in. The last one has six pieces filled, so that represents six eighths. This looks like the correct model. Now, this expression looks different. I may need the model to help me with this decomposition. It looks like the first part is 16 eighths. That means I have more pieces than are in a whole. Looking at the model, I know that one whole piece is eight, so two holes would be 16 pieces. So the first part is two. Oh look, unit fractions, one eighth plus one eighth. That's two eighths. Okay, so far we have two and two eighths. Next in the expression is three eighths. If we add that to the two and two eighths, we will have two and five eighths. Uh-oh, another fraction greater than one, nine eighths. Well, if one hole has eight pieces, then this would be one hole and one piece, so one and one eighth. If I add that to the two and five eighths, I will get three and six eighths. Yay, we did it. Erin's gonna be so pleased she doesn't have to do this all over again. Now, let's look at a word problem that uses this same thinking with fractions. Chloe rode her bike three fourths of a mile on Monday three-fourths of a mile on Tuesday, and three-fourths of a mile on Wednesday. She wants to know how far she rode in all. Using the knowledge we gained by doing the puzzle, I know that fractions can be decomposed into fractional parts and added back together to find the sum. In this problem, what fractions are we adding together? Exactly, three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. So let's see. 3 fourths plus 3 fourths is 6 fourths, plus another 3 fourths, and we have 9 fourths. Well, this is a fraction greater than 1, so we will need to make it a mixed number. If 4 pieces make a hole, and I have 9 pieces, then I know there are 2 holes in this fraction, because that would be 8 pieces, which would leave 1 fourth remaining. So Chloe rode her bike 2 and 1 fourths miles in those 3 days. So today we learned that fractions can be broken down or decomposed into their fractional parts. Sometimes that includes unit fractions and sometimes it includes other fractional parts of the target fraction. Wow, fractions really are so much fun. Thanks for tuning in with me today, Math Explorers. Bye.